Hi, Elise Dewsbury here from New Musicals Inc. with another one of my monthly video blogs in the series uh, where I'm revisiting topics that I may have treated in the last five years, but with a slightly different approach or slightly different ideas. Uh, this month, I'm going to be talking about character diction. Always a very important thing in a musical. Uh, you don't have, as a book writer, you don't have a lot of time to develop your characters through the through spoken dialogue. Uh, because, you know, you have to make room for the songs. Although I would say that the character diction I'm talking about can also apply to lyrics, but I'm talking right now about specifically dialogue. And I want you to think about the fact um, that when you're having a conversation with people that you know, um, generally speaking, people in general, when they're just having regular conversations, rarely speak in perfectly formed, complete sentences. They don't speak in things that you could parse in a grammatical class you know, with a subject object verb and everything lined up beautifully and subordinate clauses properly delineated. And uh, that's if you're giving a lecture, if you're perhaps posting a blog, um, if you're in a formal setting, maybe you're at a job interview, or if you're a particular kind of a personality, if you're a very, you know, persnickety, elitist, uh, intelligent kind of person, uh, those characters might speak in fully formed sentences. But most of the rest of us, when we're just hanging around talking to friends, we don't speak perfectly grammatically in perfectly formed sentences. So an exercise I would really encourage you to do, pick a character in, in, a, in a piece you're working on and uh, just go through the whole piece looking at their diction, at, their, at the lines that that particular character is saying. You could go back another time and do it for other characters, but go through for just one character and read every single line that that character is supposed to speak and think to yourself, if the character is saying, well, tomorrow morning at six o'clock, I'm going to get up and go, you know, I'm going to go up and I'm going to go and uh, get in my car and drive myself to work. Um, think about, rather than take a look at it and see, are you, are you, is this a complete sentence where everything is really clear? Can you start the sentence partway through? Can you add more idioms? Can, can you add, well, you know, it's like, Hey, another six o'clock morning with my stupid messed up car. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be a book writer for you here, but I'm trying to say, try to reimagine every line your character would say and see how much you can remove it from, from a formalized, grammatically perfect written words, because that's, that's the language, that, that, that perfectly uh, subject, object, verb, perfectly written stuff is what we reserve for the written language or for very formal situations. So save it for those moments, for, for formal moments or formal characters. But the rest of your folks really should be sounding um, more like real people who just don't talk that way, especially the better they know the people they're talking to. They have shortcuts, uh, they have little idioms, um, they, 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 we just don't spend as much time forming perfect sentences. Uh, and there's a lot that can go unsaid. So I would encourage you to review your characters uh, and look at their diction and, and purposefully try to loosen it up. That's one of the words that I'll use in my feedback is say, can you take the diction of this character and loosen it up a bit? They're a little too formal. They're speaking a little bit too much like a school marm who's trying to teach an English class. Uh, they sound a little bit too much like me during my vlog, perhaps. Uh, so you want you want to loosen them up and make them sound more like regular people who know each other and have all those shortcuts and things that people have in regular everyday speech. And, and that will be very particular to the different characters given their age, their educational background, their, their cultural background, all of that sort of thing. So uh, have a look at all your all your characters that way for their diction. Try and make them as believable as possible. And, and still get all the information across that you want them to get across. All right, so good luck with that. Thanks, and we'll see you next month. Toodaloo.